Okay, this is the the walkthrough of basically what I I had to do, what I installed, what I've what I had to cut, what I had to um, basically splice together. Uh, I'll show pictures at the end of what what I purchased to to help me with the project. Don't know how well you can see that down there, but that is my uh, my Five Oceans uh, float switch. I had two, the two brown wires you see coming up. It is a little bit of a tight squeeze. Um, I don't think these bolts were built to have, or meant to have an automatic. So I added it myself, just for a little bit more peace of mind. Um, one brown wire, as you see, goes goes up and then over out this out of this port here, and then I have a, a red wire because it is going to my switch goes underneath where all the rest of the wiring goes and then there's a little as it goes through here this piece my power pulls in the way I, this piece comes out and you can slide the wiring in and there's just enough room underneath the the throttle switch to come up here to the dash and then i changed the and then that's automatic as you can see I got do have a sensor light telling me that it is on that is wired in as well that has a red and a black wire that comes up it goes the same route as before right through there as you see I got the cable all zip tied up nice and pretty and then that is just um, tied into the main bilge wires uh, and then the other float switch um, wire comes in and then ties into the, the main bilge. That is a, a waterproof connection. I, I did add a little bit of um, seal, um, boat cement, ceiling cement, waterproof cement, whatever you want to call it, to that connection on the end where the two wires are coming in. I don't know if you can see that or not. My big hand's in the way. There, that's a little better. To uh, to keep the moisture out of there. Uh, again, that's that's to power the the switch itself. And when that switch when it fills up with water, if it fills up with water, um, that switch will will rise and uh, turn it on. Okay, now I got it on. Let me get down here, I'll flip it up. And let go. So it should work perfectly. The dash light comes on. Hey, come over here. Turn the bilge back off. And that's the wiring. Okay, so what I used is I used these. This kit. Solder seal and wire connectors. I used the... What size would that be? Them are uh, 16, 14 to 16 and uh, 18 to 22 sizes. Uh, they work really well. It is, let me get a bigger, bigger one out so you can see it a little better. The yellows are huge. That is a piece of lead that when it heats up, it does wrap nicely around the, the connection of the wire. And then these these spots actually seal it really tight it's really nice as far as the little blue connectors you see it's just a regular AutoZone tap splice um, I have a piece of shrink wrap down there I just have not done that yet I uh, ran out of time tonight it's getting a little late and I do have to work in the morning um, and obviously the, the double sided tape, you know, you can get that anywhere as well. That I stuck to the bottom of the of the, the switch instead of drilling it. It did come with screws, but this is an aluminum hull, so it would go right through the right through the hull down the bottom. Uh, so I I decided double stick tape. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment, send a message. Thank you for watching.